Ezra Klein, thank you both for uh, stopping by and giving us your perspective. Let's go now straight to Representative Laura Sanchez. They join us right now. She's a Democrat from California and Congressman Michael Grimm, Republican from New York. Thank you both. I know it's a very busy time right now there Thanks at Capitol Hill. Thanks for having us, Richard. You're you, welcome. You bet. All right. Representative Grimm, uh, is half of 1% worth a shutdown? That's the way it's sort of been framed so far. Well, you know, that's a question you're going to need to ask the Senate and, and the president. I mean, we've passed several bills now out of the House. Everyone knows the debt crisis that we're in. The American people have demanded that we stop and control the spending. So we've done that. Now it's up to the Senate and the president to lead. It's, it's a lack of leadership that we're seeing, and they've abdicated their leadership now. Last year they didn't pass a budget. This year the president puts out a budget proposal that is going to increase and accelerate the bankruptcy of the American people in the United States of America. It, it really, it, it's uh, at this point, it's a travesty. All right, Representative Sanchez, you know, uh, on the flip side, why not accept the one-week resolution to keep the government running while an agreement is forged going forward? Well, because this is no longer about the monies. As you said, the monies are very close, and we've uh, the, the Democrats have come further to the center than the Republicans ever will, is, is really the fact of the matter. But more importantly, this is ideological. I mean, they're talking about putting writers on there against women's reproductive choice. They're talking about um, you know, shutting down the EPA programs, the environmental protection programs. They're still going after NPR and public broadcasting. So this really has nothing to do with the numbers anymore. It's ideological from their side. I, if well, I could, I just have one question. Go ahead. Had, they had the House, the Senate, and the presidency last year. If, if this is about ideology and it's not their unwillingness to cut spending, why didn't they simply pass a budget last year, and we wouldn't be here talking about a CR. We'd be, on to Paul Ryan's, uh, we'd be on to Paul Ryan's budget. Well, you have to, uh, that would be terrible. You have, now you're going to go after Medicare and seniors. But um, Which is the reason, the reason, the issue was that we actually, while we had the Senate, we didn't have the 60 votes that we needed. And so the fact of the matter is we needed to work with Republicans. And that's, as you can tell, over in the Senate, been a very, very difficult thing to do Let's because of the real ideological bent that's going on. Let, and then the House has just been insufferable, quite Let's frankly. look forward. Representative Grimm, is this all about Planned Parenthood? Hood? No, I don't think it is at all. I think this is about getting serious about cutting spending. And it's about taking care of our troops. I mean, one of the big things that I had a problem with continuing resolutions is that it affects our military. And I, I spoke to leadership about that. A lot of my colleagues spoke to leadership and said, we don't want our troops being used as political pawns. We want to get them off the table. Well, so that's one fact, of the reasons why we just passed this bill. Well, in fact, that's why the Republicans are using them as political pawns. They're trying to, again, go after Planned Parenthood, go after NPR, go after the EP. And they're using our military as the bargaining ship. And as a 15 member of the armed, 15 year member of the Armed Services Committee, I really resent that from well, that side. As someone that fought in combat, as a United States Marine, I can tell you that the failure to lead on a Democratic side is deplorable. Our men and women are overseas right now. Okay, they don't ask questions, they follow orders. And for them to think that their spouses are not going to be able to feed their children because of what's going on here, the utter lack of failure uh, to lead and the well, abdication uh, of leadership is, is just it's, to, to it's both of beyond you, words. The to, only to both reason of you, if I may, that they believe that they're not going to be Sanchez, fed is that you put that out there. Sanchez, you know very right. well they're to, getting paid. To both of you, are you proud about the way this process has been going as people watch the two of you now debate some of the issues? Well, I believe that uh, if you take a look at the way this has been going, to go week by week as the Republicans have done is really unfair to the American public. And more importantly, it's unfair once they shut down the government tonight. It's going to be unfair to our seniors. It's going to be unfair to, uh, I mean, they've, they've cut things like, uh, you know, I worry about wildfires if, if in my can. district. If, they've cut the funding to that. So I'm worried as the summer season comes up. I mean, if you they what you're are hearing. really cutting important issues, things that happen in our national Be forests, because we are broke. that affect people. The one thing my colleague has failed to say is we're broke because of Bush. We're broke even because of Bush. Even though, look at, Bush. look at the amount of spending that has gone on in the last couple we're of years since of President Obama. It's record in history. We've never seen spending like that. You can continue to blame Bush, but uh, President Bush is no longer the president and hasn't been the president for a couple of years now. But he left this us is, with a This big is why it's debt. taking so long to come to he a resolution. Left us with a big because they want to just continue to talk about President Bush and Instead of the fact that they've abdicated their leadership, the representatives, truth is, we have no we do, more time for these. This, if we this do have nonsense. a shutdown in 13 hours, will you still take your paycheck? 
Representative well, I'm Sanchez. Fortunate. I'm very fortunate because I just refinanced my house, so I have a cushion. But I really well, worry about those people, those um, the, those young children and those mothers who are worried about where their next meal is going to come from. Will you um, still take your uh, paycheck? That's what I that's what I worry about. Um, you, you know, so I, I financially don't have to worry about it. Will at you this still point, take your paycheck? Other people do have to worry about it. Representative, will you still take your paycheck? Well, I don't think the paychecks are going to be cut, quite frankly. Representative Grimm? In, in, in my colleague's defense, I think they're by statute. It, it cannot be cut. So there are some legal ramifications. I know we're looking at it right now, but my understanding is it can't be changed at this point um, without a new Congress being put in. Spirited discussion. I thank you both so much. I know you've got a busy day ahead of you. Congresswoman Loretta Sanchez. Thank you very much. And Congressman Michael Grimm. Have a very good Friday. Deal or no deal is what we're talking about. We're going to keep our eye on Capitol Hill and this podium and those microphones. We're expecting House Speaker.